All right, dividing fractions, let's take something that looks like this. 3 fourths divided by 1 eighth. And um, the whole idea here is we're going to make division look like multiplication. In fact, I'll change this symbol to multiplying. And I have to do something special, something fancy to the 1 eighth. You guys remember that term? What's it called? Yeah, I'm going to take the reciprocal, which means flip-flop, okay? I'm going to take the top number 1 and put it on the bottom, and the bottom 8 above. I flip-flop it. I reciprocal. Must I do the same for 3 fourths? No. That's just straight up the same. You leave it alone. Alrighty. And then, because it's a multiplication problem, you do exactly what we were doing before. Evaluate the top times top is 24. And when you evaluate the bottom, you get 1 times 4. That's a mixed, I'm sorry, that's an improper fraction where you need to change to a mixed number. 24 divided by 4 is 6. So our final answer, if I can rewrite it, 3 fourths divided by 1 eighth is 6. Uh huh. Questions on that process? None? Okay. Then we're going to make it a little bit tougher. What if we were supposed to, we're going to take 3 and 1 half, and we're going to divide it by, uh, let's go with 3 eighths. Where shall I begin? Kevin. Okay, let's rename. This has a name, guys. It's called renaming. I'm taking this mixed number, and I'm going to change it to an improper fraction. So what is it equal to, Kevin? Attaboy. 7 over 2. 7 halves. Damien. Let's do so. 7 and a half now is going to multiply. And then fill me out. What's the last part here? Uh huh, reciprocal, eight thirds. This is the flip flop, okay? And then because we're having a multiplication problem, I simply evaluate as if, you know, there is no need for common denominators. None, you don't have to. So I'm just going to write that here for you. So 7 times 8 is 56. On the bottom, 2 times 3 is 6. How many 6s are there in 53 or 56? No, no, I'm not talking about the homework right now. I'm showing this. 9 times 6 is 54. My remainder is 2. Are there questions about this process? I don't care about the homework right now. That's not my job. Your job is to pay attention to this so you can do the homework. If you fail to do this, you're going to go home lost. Anybody having questions how I got to where I am at 9 remainder 2? All right, it's a shame if you do and you don't ask. It's your last chance. All right, this is now nine whole groups with two sixes left. Simplest form is 9 and 1 third. So here's what we're saying. When you had 3 and a half and you're dividing it into 3 eighths, how many times can you do that? You can do it 9 whole times with 1 third left over, or not 1 third of a time. 